My name is Xavier, and welcome to the defense of the chaos invasion of Horriganeth. For those of you who've been wondering, this is what apparently Horriganeth looks like. Pretty cool looking place. It's like in a giant swamp and whatnot. Uh, essentially, though, we're hailing down arrows with nothing but our garrison here and a million different guys. I do have a couple of spells. Powder of Darkness. Greatly increases power reserves. All right, don't care about that so much. Chill wind, I've got that. We've got a death hag over here, that's it. We've got a million archers up here in the front lines to get some uh, melee units over here. And then in addition, I've got a, at least one black guard there uh, ready to roll. Speaking of, Harganeth Executioner is there and there. Okay, I kind of screwed that up. I should have had this one over here the whole time. You guys run over there. Go, 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 go. Full speed ahead. Awesome. All right, well, now we basically just watch the carnage unfold as all of our things land on them from every single direction. Holy mother of heavens, it would not be fun to be these guys. Look at this, they're coming in from this direction as well. And they're not really getting rained on over here because there's no arrow units over there, but wow, do those towers do it a lot. Granted, they seem to have very short, uh, very short radius here. Well, here's the plan. As these guys start getting up the ladders, I probably want to fall back and get my melees on them. Or, uh, yeah, get my archers. Well, I suppose those archers could keep arching. That, that would make some sense. These guys aren't doing so well. They're getting kind of wrecked. Actually, look at that. These guys are getting super wrecked as they try to walk up the arrows. I mean, walk up the ladders here. That's actually amazing. Look at that. I don't even need to fall. These guys are getting completely destroyed over there. This one guy almost made it up, but no luck for him. Arrows from every direction. The Corsairs can probably handle that by themselves, okay? These guys are coming up over here. They are indeed actually up at this. This unit here is Corsairs or whatnot. So they can probably handle their own as well. I don't need to worry about that. These guys are walking up into the melee units. They'll probably be fine. However, let's try to make sure that we at least encapsulate them as close as we can. Or as much as we can, rather. Have the executioners come over and flank these guys. Awesome. Looks like no one's coming up over here. So you know what? You guys run over here as well. Get over there and do some good stuff. And then meanwhile, they have their battering ram here. But their battering ram is not doing so well. Holy arrows. Ahoy, Batman. This is just a joyous sight to behold. A joyous sight to behold. They're, try they're actually, like, holding this one steady. Well, this one's trying to get up there, but they're getting hit so hard they're falling back now. Now these guys are getting hit. There goes that thing, completely destroyed. Okay, now these guys are trying to move up to grab that one to punch through the door, but they're not going to have any success on that front. The guys who were coming up over here seem to be almost entirely destroyed. There's like one or two of them left over there, these Chaos Warriors. Yep, there they go. They're both down. Now we can focus entirely on archers. A bunch of, like, horsemen are charging in at the same time. What is happening? And then over here, we got some melee units still climbing the walls over there. I don't even need to watch because, quite frankly, I think my executioners and my uh, Blackguard and Nagaron have got this under control. Meanwhile, these guys are up the walls with the Blackguard. No, these are executioners. They're taking care of it as well. Yep, this is going to be a resounding success. And there is my buff for killing a million guys. There goes all that stuff. These guys are actually coming in. The hounds now. Wait, did they get the door open? I can't tell. Gate damage, 4%. No, they didn't. I have no idea why that door was open just now. All of their dogs ran up. Yeah, I basically did not need to start an episode on this because it's pathetic. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's cool to watch, though, I will see. Or I will say, rather. God, I'm getting all my words messed up. These guys completely shattered, or broken at least. Uh, over here, we're looking at, yep, completely shattered, breaking, breaking. We're probably going to win any second now. I haven't even used my wizards at all to do anything, but, and I could have the whole time, too. Uh, where's my death hag? I had one over here someplace. You know what? Who cares? Let's go over here. Everybody in on that person, and then let's, there is the death hag. Let's get them over here, if, if at all possible. Yep, they barely even got up the ladders, these poor, poor, poor guys. And all of their hounds just keep running up to the door and getting slaughtered. Oh, let's watch the hound slaughter, shall we? The evil, vile hellhound slaughter. Wow. <laughs> they were bred to run up to that wall and die while running away. And that's essentially all they've accomplished in their existence. Poor hounds. They just wanted to be little good hellhounds. Wow, these things are shooting ridiculously far. I guess those towers can shoot the whole map. I thought they could only shoot at a short distance because it seemed like they weren't being manned or doing anything. 
But no, they're still going to town from all the way back here. Well, that was kind of ridiculously stupid. What did I lose? Like 20, 16 Blackguards, three Executioners, and two Blackguard Corsairs? Wow. Good job, guys. Good job. Really good job. Anyway, let's move on to more interesting battles. We got some stuff coming up here in this episode for sure. 21 losses to 919. Not much money for that. That's too bad. Ransom's not that much money. I'll go for the slaves. I did notice my dark shards there got like 200 kills each, whereas my Corsair has got like 100 each, which is an interesting uh, data point to note. Uh, let's come back here, though, and make sure we clean that up while I'm thinking about it. So, Alanox, get in here. Free experience for you. Oh, yeah, we got the garrison as well. See you, friends. Uh, and let's go for... I guess... Oh, you know what? Why don't we go for experience this time? It's not... It's not much experience? Well, then again, everything is like gold chevroned here. Wow, Alanox is quite the battle. Or quite the army. I didn't realize that. Well, let's go for the replenishments then, because... We are a little bit short on replenishments. Faction destroyed, Warband of the Hound. Now that was from our second ritual. Uh, what's going on here? Currently performing the ritual of Hated Foe, turn two turns remaining. Really, I haven't even finished that. Wow, okay. We're on turn 109 and I haven't even finished the second ritual? Crazy. But the, I think the next three are gonna come up a lot faster though because we're way, way, way bigger now. It's 2,000 for this one, 3,300 for that one, and 5,000. It doesn't seem to scale exponentially, but the number of territories I'm holding does scale kind of, like, exponentially. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Uh, what do we want to do with Alanox now? Because I'm pretty sure... Let's find Save out what's going on up here. Osnog is doing okay. Unlikely. These guys have 15 units. Their garrison has 7, actually. Hateful bidding. Interesting. There's a chance that Osnog could fail here. But you know what? If we play carefully... Ah... Uh, that looks like a 45-55 battle in their favor. They got three phoenixes, a bolt thrower. Their garrison is not all that strong, though. So here's my plan. Let's just play very defensive. I'll send... For Nagaroth, for victory. These Dark Riders with shields out to crush their bolt throwers. Maybe our archers can take down the phoenixes or whatever in conjunction with the Blackguard. We'll just stand put. They don't have the archer support they need to really wreck us. And if we have to retreat, we will. Banner of Eternal Flame. Hmm, let's see. Augment, constant self. 6% weapon damage, fire to everybody, right? Let's give that to the executioners. And then Gleaming Pennant. I suppose we'll give that over here to Osnog. Plus 4 to leadership. Sure. Uh, let's go do it. Alright, here's the plan. Same sort of setup as the last time I played this map. We're going to take the open area here. We'll have all of our bolt throwers, but I'm going to move them a little further back this time so they don't hit my units as badly as they did in one of the prior battles. Uh, the shades will come in for flanks from behind or whatever, whenever the things come up. Uh, and for the most part, I'm just going to sit tight, wait for the phoenixes to come in. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll even have some of the shades like back here or whatever, now that I'm thinking about it. There, that'll be fine, because I'm pretty sure the Phoenix is going to land either right here on my archers or right here on these things. And we'll send in uh, the Cold One Knights on the left and all of the uh, Dark Riders on the right to go for the flank on their Bolt Thrower. And then, of course, my one Chariot is on melee mode, ready to engage. So, let's roll. Oh, they're actually over there. Okay, didn't anticipate that. Let's grab all of you guys and, in fact, move back here and rotate over like that. Great. All of you guys run back here really 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 fast fantastic and let's get up here with the cold one knights then all right let's take a look at what they have and what they're doing uh, for the most part they've got all their arrow units back here they got uh, actually quite a bit of them seven total but most of them are the cav ones and then they have torrendil the wizard by himself out there uh, and then down here we're looking at rodar the noble and that seems to be their two lords. Nope, they have Vanya the Princess. So they've got three of them, in fact, with three phoenixes and all manner of random stuff. Well, if I can out crossbow them, or out ballista them, I think we'll be in a good position. Speaking of, let's grab pretty much everything on the entire map, Peter. Let's move kind of up there, rotate a little bit more like this. Great. You guys are all running fantastic. Uh, all of you units now can probably get back up here where you were. Get ready. Carnage awaits. 
I'm a little worried about my uh, cold one nights. I don't want them getting too far ahead. They are currently invisible, though. They're hidden uh, in these trees, so I think we'll hang out there. You know what? Can we just actually wait there? That's, that's a perfectly legitimate place for them to stay. So we have two bolt throwers. They only have one. As soon as I start hitting them, they're going to start charging us. And then I need to come up with a plan because, oh boy, do they have a lot of stuff now that I look at it. Well, they seem to be positioning back over here now because we've got our guys there. So let's fall back. Great. How are you guys doing? You're almost in position. I really am not a fan of this tree right in front of me. Oh, here we go. These guys are actually charging up the hill here. Bolt throwers, you guys in? Yep, you can't really hit anything. All right, well, let's grab this entire army then. And let's move up, like, let's say... I don't want to move too far. Let's move, like, right here. Or actually... Why is my lines all messed up there? That's kind of weird. Everybody run, though. Get that show on the road. You guys get back up here to kind of bait them to dancing around while we reform. Over and over and over again. This is a potentially losing battle if I don't play it well. So let's try to actually play it well. Let's get the black guards, like, lined up where they need to actually be. Like, here, yep, much better. Bolt throwers are in position to do some bolt throwing. Well, actually, no, they're not. They're just outside of position. And now their entire army is rotating once again. Are they going to rotate into me? No, they're not. You know what? I actually am okay with this. I would love to come over here and rotate like that and take this hill. That would be like my life's dream right there. You guys get on the, the show on the road. They do seem to be really, really, really distracted by my units just simply existing in this, like, quadrant of the map. Hey, if they want to give me the elevation, I will take it. I will absolutely take it. Okay, sure. You know what? Oh, whoops, that's not what, I'm, that's not what I meant to do at all. Let's grab all of these things. Back up the hill a little bit, rotate, something like that. Looks good. Oh, now they seem to be catching on to what's going on here. Which is unfortunate because my bolt throw one. Well, nope, nope, nope. They're very concerned about all these units out there. They just don't care about anything other than... Oh, are they, these guys under fire? No? I don't think so. This is really beautiful, though. Like, this is a fantastic place. My bolt throwers are going to have... Oh, I think their bolt throwers are actually attacking me right now, believe it or not. Is what's going on. That's an unusual sight for me. Interesting. I think that's probably fine, though. My bolt throwers are behind this hill, and I need to move up over the hill pretty soon. So let's grab the entire army, uh, and let's move up and over like this. Yes. Great. Let's grab the bolt throwers independently. Hold down space. We need them to be a little bit closer than I would like, so right up there. Hopefully you guys are running. You really can't run at all. Let's go up here. Uh, this looks good. You guys probably charge over here or something, or at least, like, distract them a little bit. So this is not quite ideal. I'm taking fire when I don't really necessarily have to be. Uh, you guys get in position, get in position, everybody in position, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, we're get our, our black guards are getting hammered here. Although, technically, we've only lost, like, a handful of them, so it's not a huge deal. Once we get our bolt throwers in position, which will be very soon, let's grab our shades, though, and move them maybe down here. And then these shades can move up here a little bit. You guys can handle it, you are black guards. Fear not, as soon as these bolt throwers are in position, they're getting up there. What a weird... They're, like, giving me half their army or whatever. Like, their whole side. Your lord is under attack. Eh. Yeah, I can see that they're doing that, but come on. We're almost we're almost in position. Let's bolt their bolt throwers. Looks good. You guys almost in position as well. The last bolt is getting pushed up here right now. And there we go. Bolt versus Bolt. They're going to start charging, and we're going to be ready for it, I feel. You know what? Let's get you down here, Dark Rider, or Cold cold One Knights. Bolt versus Bolt. 
The difference here is I'm targeting their bolt throwers and they're just targeting my infantry that I don't care so much about. Is this it? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's grab the entire bolt throwers and make sure we're shooting all of their bolt throwers. Until they start charging, I am fine with everyone focusing on their bolt throwers. Come on, guys. Take them down. Hey, release. It's working. We're losing some executioners for sure. But they're losing all their bolt throwers. If we could take them out, we're in a way better position than they are. Oh, that was a nice hit. We took, or well, we hit three of them there. Oh, that one just hit like four of them. Amazingly, these guys just aren't dying. Like, take them out, guys. What the heck? Are they moving around anywhere? Or nope, they're just sitting there and they're taking it. Okay. Well, we're probably going to end up using all of our bolts on their bolt throwers at this rate. I honestly expected them to die much faster than they are. We keep hitting them with these giant bolts from across the map and somehow they're just standing up. Oh, they're, nope, never mind. Two of them just got like cut in half. There's another one. So many bolts. We're even casually missing occasionally and hitting some of these guys. Okay, we've officially used, I think, about half of our ammo. And we still have not killed the bolt throwers. Let's speed up here a little bit. Come on, guys. Seriously, just hit the last few bolt throwers and take them down. What the heck's going on? There we go. And they are shattered. Fantastic. Now, we're going to have the bolt throwers focus on other things like these guys over here. And then I'm sure they're going to start charging us in a second. Wow, we use like 75% of our... There is a technology that gives me a whole bunch more bolt thrower ammo. I should indeed research that soon. Yeah, I hit them a few times and probably the whole... Yeah, there we go. We hit them like once or twice and basically their whole army's like, Oh! Oh yeah, we gotta play the game, I guess. <laughs> awesome. Come on, guys. Charge right up. I don't care. Great. Come right up. Let's hit you guys over there. Fantastic. Hit you guys over there. Great. You know what? Let's pull back here with the shades. Oh, they're actually moving up, Peter, and shooting my shades, believe it or not. Ah, here we go. Shades, you guys come up here. Great on the move. You guys turn around here. This is what we were waiting for now. Let's move up in this direction. I guarantee you, I guarantee you what they're going to do is have these birds come down here and land in my archer waves. But we're going to be kind of ready for that. Kind of ready for it. Not completely. Get you guys up there. Awesome. Shades, you guys ready? Maybe come up there and shoot them. You guys come up here to shoot these guys. Fantastic. As soon as you guys can, come on back down here. Okay, yep. And there we go. Let's get the Hargoneth Executioners back there. Arrows are going to town on all of these guys. You guys and you guys go to town right there. Uh, let's grab all my bolt throwers and hit, like, the main main force. And you guys can probably come in from behind now and start dealing with these guys. Meanwhile, Cold One Knights. Uh, just run out here in the open and actually distract some of their knights. This actually looks like a fairly decent idea. Uh, as per usual, yep, their phoenixes are indeed engaged in melee here. Let's get Osnog up on this one. Oh, they're, they're actually charging right through my bolt throwers. But I'm almost out of bolts anyway, so who really cares, right? This is going horrendously. Let's get all the shades. Well, I guess all the shades down there are a little bit preoccupied dealing with things. Executioners, could you actually attack somebody at some point when this guy lands, maybe? 
Come up there. Yes, get in there and attack that Phoenix. Fantastic. You guys attack the Phoenix as well. Uh, also, switch, switch, switch to melee mode and attack the Phoenix. Fantastic. What happened to all of my uh, cav units? Well, they all got caught here in the middle of nonsense. So let's charge out a little bit. I don't really want them taking huge casualties when they don't need to. Uh, run out to the open like that. Now, where did my cold one calves go? They're actually all the way back here. Engaged. Okay, I moved them back and forgot about them. You guys come back here and save them if you could, because they're probably all about to die. Meanwhile, you guys could charge up here. I don't think this is going to be a winning battle for me. I cannot see a path to victory here. I just can't see it. Their phoenixes are being extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. You know, but that's the story of phoenixes pretty much every single time. Let's get the executioners over here and deal with them. Yeah, they're running in so many units right now. It's kind of ridiculous. You guys can probably break off of that and charge these guys from behind. That's a little bit of something we can do that's more useful. Bolt throwers not doing the best uh, the best thing here. They basically just fired all their bolts at the enemy bolt thrower and then ran out of ammo. <laughs> so that was it. Oh, there we go. We get a bit of a charge. Not that that's really going to make all the difference. Uh, let's come down here with Osnog, if at all possible. Flank these guys. Oh, here we go. Have Osnog take out Rodar, maybe. That could be a thing that happens. All my archers are pretty much dead. You know what I should really do here? We should grab everybody and retreat. Let's just let's just get off the off the battlefield. I played that horribly. Everybody off the battle. I played that really, really, really bad. And we're pretty much all dead. But yeah. Well, now I know not to try to out bolt thrower bolt throwers because they probably murdered. Let's like let's let's see. They got 138 kills with their bolt throwers. Meanwhile, I got like 150. 160 actually so the thing is i barely only killed their bolt thrower and my bolt throwers then were out of ammo that that strategy would have worked if it didn't take so long to kill their bolt throwers or i had more ammo but otherwise it was a colossal failure interest that would have been a colossal success in prior games but now i know oh did he just steal my ogre blade oh i just gave that to osnog we lost a lot of guys there. We lost one full Executioner. And we indeed lost the Dark Riders with shields, the Cold One Knights, and the Dark Riders. I'm okay with all of that, though, to be honest. It's not that big of a deal. And defeated. Losing the Ogre Blade is actually a bigger problem. Let's go into March Mode, and let's try to get out of here. He can actually hit us next turn. So... I think we're going to be pretty much dead then with Osnog. Then again, he is kind of weak, so maybe not. I don't know. In Nagaroth, the weak perish. Well, let's upgrade the walls. <laughs> huh. All right, well, never fear. Now I know what to do with Olinox, basically. Let's go into March, and let's get up there for reinforcements. No, don't refuse, Olinox. What are you talking about? You refuse. We're gonna, still several turns away, but I feel like Osnog's about to be completely and utterly evaporated, unfortunately. Tremaine, you got a promotion. Another flaming sword of rune. Bride of madness. Tordon here needs to go join up with the Malekith. Awesome. Uh, over here in Nagarond, we can upgrade Harkeldra. Okay, we'll go for it since it's right there. Let's go for easy money as well. And that's pretty much it for everyone, except... Except, Malekith actually can't move this turn because I just moved in with Torden. Can we move Torden out of the army? Effect. Yeah, we can. And then we can move Malekith down here to Tor Sethai and attack. Let's move down here. Do we still have the bombardment? Yes, we do. Would we have the bombardment attacking this thing? We would. We have 14 units. What do they have again? They actually have a watchtower. Maybe I should heal up a little bit here. Just get. We got one more turn of grabbing, guys, right? So let's go. You know what? Let's get really close to this garrison. Next turn we can attack it and then we can move on out. So, oh, here we go. Morel is down there. Uh, but yeah, let, let's get the basic set up here. So Dark Shard, Dark Shard, Spear, Spear. Uh, and then last but not least, I think we'll grab one more Harpy. And that's pretty much the whole no, army. Person. And Torden can come down here and group up next turn. Meanwhile, Admiral Jesper can just stay put where he is. We could start recruiting more units with Jesper. 
Um, not right now. But after I recruit these five. I'll get to that next turn. Okay, Osnog, oh, please tell me you don't die. Hero, horrific death, which you very well might. Join our bloody games. Yeah. I'm not worried about this. I think Osnog's gonna be gonna bite the proverbial bullet here. Oh yeah, apparently Redwood had to move like one tenth of a point. Tyrion is coming. Oh, Tyrion's coming out here to Slaver's points. Interesting. He's just going back and forth and back and forth. All right. Well, he's gonna be met with some serious walls there that might whittle him down over time. I think. I think I got those all upgraded to the highest tier walls. Ah, uh, here it is. Osnog, no, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. All right, well, it's our last chance to kill this guy. This time he doesn't have the garrison, though. He does still have the bolt thrower that's almost dead. I still have my two bolt throwers with more ammo. I know now not to shoot his bolt thrower. Uh, I do have a decent amount of dark shards. Uh, I just need to deal with those phoenixes somehow, and honestly, there's no good way to deal with it. Let's fight it and see if we can pull out some crazy victory here with Osnog. It wouldn't be the first time. Alright, this is the plan. We sit out here in the open, we let him come to us, and we shell him as hard as we can. Also, I can screw around using my, uh, chariot here to keep him distracted. And then also kill his bolt thrower with my chariot at some point. How many archers does he have? He's got one, two, well, one real, two mounted ones. And then another group of sh uh, sea guard with shields. Actually, they're all sea guard with shields. He doesn't have any mounted ones. Never mind. Interesting. One, two. But these are kind of full units, and I if I get like quarter strength units, so it's probably not going to work out very well. Uh, and then of course he's got a wizard back there, and Vanya, the princess. Okay, well, no idea how I'm going to manage to pull this off. But they're over there. We're over here. And we'll do whatever we can, I suppose. Pretty soon they're going to be walking into our bolt thrower range. Nope, maybe not. They're actually pretty far away from it. Okay, their bolt thrower is now turning on our chariot. Let's pull back. Maybe move over here. Just get out, out of the range of their bolt thrower. Awesome. Let's pull over here so we can pull their bolt thrower. What, what the hell is that? No, come over there. Yeah, and then up there. This way they have one spearman that's out of the battle. And they have one bolt thrower who's otherwise distracted. This might work out for us. Let's go up here now with this chariot. He could turn around with that bolt thrower and start hitting our chariot. I'm a little bit worried about... Oh, yep, he's in fact exactly trying to do that. You can see the range of it right here. Let's just skirt on the outside of that, shall we? Let's just skirt it. How's our bolt thrower range? It's pretty good. Um, I'm wondering if I should switch my bolts over to the big ones, though, for the phoenixes. I suppose we'll wait and see in a minute. Let's come up there. Awesome. Just split up their forces as much as possible. I'd be a little cheeky, guys. We're also super winded, which is unfortunate, because we were marching. Whereas they're super fresh. We're almost into our bolt range. It might make sense to turn. Yeah, I think the first thing we're going to do, let's grab all the bolts and let's go to the big ones. The standard rounds, and we'll shoot at the phoenixes when we get the opportunity. Oh, I'm almost getting hit here with my chariot. Almost. Can we run into the forest and hide? I don't think so. He'll probably see us. God, I can't believe how slow these guys move when they're winded. It's insane. All right, get up to the, you know what, get up to the border there. And let's keep going all the way up that direction. Great, these guys are completely otherwise occupied. Or, alternatively, something we could do, since we're going to be in range pretty soon, is just go straight on in. Uh, more importantly, though, let's check our bolt throwers. They're getting very close to having the ability to shoot here. And once they do, we have to take out the first phoenix, I hope. Take out the first phoenix right here. Bolt throwers, go! Awesome, that's exactly what they're doing. Now, back to the chariot. Chariot is about in range. You know what? Let's just go straight on in there then. Straight on in there and take him out. Hopefully this guy doesn't cut us off in the middle, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, meanwhile, let's watch our bolt throwers. Oh, hitting the phoenix. We're hitting that phoenix with bolts. Although this is probably not the smartest thing I can be doing with those bolts. Let's switch over here and attack their phoenix guard. There we go. Now that our phoenixes are going the other direction, fantastic. Since they're going over there, let's grab all of the shades and redeploy over here very fast. Go. A go, 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 go. Meanwhile, all the archers. I would pretty much like it if you guys could do something like this, or maybe even like that on a run move, and then get you guys over here as well, and get ready to deal with these birds. Uh, you know what? We don't have time for this, guys. Just start shooting the birds. Shoot the lowest one. Great. Shades. Shades, let's go. Get over here. Run, 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 run. As fast as you can. 
Just start shooting the first bird. Shoot the first bird you can see. Come over here with the halberdiers. How's my uh, Chatteriot doing? Oh, my Chatteriot actually went into a rage and did get caught by that Spearman. I looked away for just enough time to have that be a complete and utter failure. Let's move back here with the halberdiers, though. Very, very, very quickly. Fantastic. Have them maybe even charge in on there. You guys move up. We're getting attacked here from different directions. Meanwhile, my archers are still very busy here. Very busy. Taking out that phoenix. So are the shades. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> uh, archers, you want to turn around and shoot that black guard? Great. Uh, shades, same deal. Turn around and shoot that. Uh, melee lines reform very quickly on a run move. Uh, and meanwhile, you guys, and there's nothing really for you to do. Shoot over there, I suppose. Really wish I didn't lose control there. Uh, back to the shades very quickly. Oh, Osnok, great. The Phoenix landed. Take it down. Take it down. Here comes some more guys to the right side. Awesome. As they come in, let's get in on them. Fantastic. Uh, get all the shades, if at all possible, moving over here. And archers fall back. Great. We're going to need you to actually shoot. Very important you guys actually shoot. Osnok, come over here and help with this Phoenix, please. Help with this Phoenix. Order. Forget the Phoenix and have the Shades deal with the Phoenix. You know what? You guys get up there and deal with that. The rest of the archers have you guys shoot them. Awesome. Every single one of you guys turn around and shoot that Phoenix. Uh, meanwhile, my bolt throwers are just running out into the open like idiots. Maybe we can have the bolt throwers shoot back at the their archers over here. Probably not. This seems like a horrendous, horrendous, horrendous thing here. Osnog is actually... In position to deal with this phoenix, I suppose. There's that. <laughs> there is that. And these archers are indeed, are indeed managing to shoot down this phoenix pretty well. Here, come on, guys. Keep on it. Phoenix is going to come back and land. Yep, but you're not going to deal with it. Shades, come on. Take out that phoenix and we have a small chance here. Not a very big one. Osnog, you doing all right over there? Not so much, but you're working on it. You are indeed working on it. Shades, any chance on the phoenix? We've got the murderous prowess, friends. We've got the murderous prowess. There is some chance. Take down this phoenix. There goes the phoenix. Okay, all archers, all shades. Focus up on the other phoenix. Focus up on the other... Oh, no! Osnog is scared! Oh, so close. We were so close there. Killed two phoenixes, at least, though. Unfortunately, Osnog just could not keep it together for long. We were getting pelted by like four arrow units, but really, they didn't have too much left, and all of my archers could have repelted their archers. Of course, you know, I was down to almost nothing, so maybe it wasn't that close at all. Decisive defeat! Banner of Eternal Flame has been stolen by Vanya. Here's the thing, though. Because we killed those phoenixes, I'm pretty sure that this army is not going to be able to kill anything. So, yeah, as much as Osnog has met her fate, uh, it's okay. Unless these guys have another boat of guys. Nope, they don't. What do you want? Join war against Tord Ellis? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. If it's murdering high elves, I'm not going to object at any point in time. Yeah, these guys have to come back here, lick their wounds, heal up. Meanwhile, all in Ox will move up there with a whole new army and learn them a lesson. Poor Osnog. I got way overconfident there. I should have waited and healed up a little bit, but I just felt like overconfident. Well, that's what happened. I felt overconfident. These guys are performing their ritual. Great. Ready to learn an army. Yep. Stolen by the enemy. Osnog lost her banner. Osnog's been killed in battle. And what's up now? Well, for one, King of the Druki Malekithir is ready to exact some vengeance on some towns that I'm just going to automate myself right on through. Auto resolve. Fantastic. We, they lost 9 to 32. We lost 146. Nothing really big happened here. Loot gained 2,800. Awesome. <gasps> We're almost rank 40. Ooh, five thousand two hundred dollars with six hundred slaves. Sure. Sort of striking. Charge bonus, melee attack, follower gained high L slave. Sure. Uh, Malekith, do you want to just raise that thing into the ground? Can we do that, or should I just leave it there? You know what? I'm probably better off just leaving it. Like, why even bother raising it? They've most of their stuff is beaten up. Vowels Anvil. What are you talking about? Yet to be discovered. Hold on. 
Was that the mission I had? Oh! That's down here? Capture and occupy the following settlements. I thought Vowel's Anvil was a totally different thing over here. This is- this is Vowel's Anvil. What? Why am I- what's going on right here? Vowel's Anvil. Vowel's and they're the same thing! Does he have two anvils? What the hell? Val, you can be blacksmithing in two places at the same time, I suppose? Alright, here's the plan. I didn't even group up here, but you know what? How far can we move? Alright, we're good. Let's grab Torden. Let's join up the army here. Replenish troops. Great. Uh, now, let's move on down the coastline as such. Okay, great. Yep. Uh, Jesper, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, actually, looks like there's a storm a brewing. Let's get you onto normal move mode here. So Malekith still has your support, even from all the way back there. I guess I can avoid having to come in here. Yeah, there's a, there's a big storm in that whole region. So is that like a permanent storm? Storm. Any f suffer attrition? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how storms work in this game, to be entirely honest. Malekith now has a full stack army. And the question finally comes, do I want... Oh, yes, I do. I know exactly what I want to do. Forget that full stack on me. One, two, three, four, five. Five dragons, friends. Or, alternatively, before I do this, maybe I should move into the storm, because I don't really care about Jesper's hit points himself, and I wonder... Ah, that's the range. I see now. I can see this, this giant range there. Vowel's anvil someplace down here. So if we move along to this range, let's do that. Back into fleet mode. Uh, let me find out one more time. Supreme, I'm actually gonna go do a random quest, believe it or not. Oh, I forgot about this this thing. I can do it right now. Could I, could I actually do it? Is now the time? 40 minutes into the episode. No, I wanna go do this. Supreme spell shields. Okay, wherever this Vowel's Anvil is... I think we're just outside of the range of it. I think it's like right there. So if I want to start recruiting dragons, I guess I can't recruit them anyway. But I'm going to need... Also, I also don't have Cala, Calador's response. You know what? We're just going to have to do this. Let's go into... Full speed. Let's move out here. We'll take the attrition. That's fine. Now we are within bombard range of Vowel's Anvil down there and also over here. Uh, you know what? I am perfectly fine with grabbing Malekith on a march mode and keep on moving. Fantastic. We'll come up here. We'll bombard that next time. We won't do the quest just yet. I am very curious, though. Olinox, how are you doing? Okay, let's get you up to Shagrath as fast as possible, or at least up to the borders of it. Now... Let's come down here and see what's up with Tyrion. Absolutely not. He's attacking Slaver's Point. Slaver's Point. Ah, oh, I didn't upgrade the walls, actually. So he's probably going to have no problem whatsoever sacking this place. Interesting. Well. The garrison, three Dark Riders, bunch of stuff. Black Ark. Yeah, that is a terrible garrison that I have no faith in whatsoever. Should I raise another army? I cannot to deal with him. We're only going to have one lord. Cain bids you welcome. I can recruit a death hag, though. I could recruit a couple of them. Could a couple of death hags and one lord really turn the tide of battle here? And what, what is this annoying thing in my face? Hmm. All right, who would I recruit, first of all? We have some people that are free, essentially. Dreadlord, Sword and Shield. It might make some difference. So let's go for it. Phaza. We will re-recruit you. You are from a long time ago. Discipline, leadership, melee attack, all units and army. Awesome. Let's go for it. Great. Uh, while we're here, let's recruit up a couple of heroes. So we're going to go for Death Hags, number one. Fantastic. And then let's go for a Death Hag, number two. Awesome. There's a ton of money just kind of blown into stuff here. What's the most important thing these days? Probably chance of death. Because they're only going to get like one fight, I think, Which before they probably all die. So let's make them as buffed oh, as possible. Meet your doom. 
And yeah, we can't even group them up together here. I can at least get into the town though with Faza, so there's that. Oh, can we replenish the troops? No, whoops, I thought I could do that. Oh well. If we survive, then I'll be able to, to group up and help out. But until then, I'm not going to be able to do very much. It's unfortunate. The Monoliths. Are you guys all right? Yep, you got your rank three. Hotex column, I think you'll be all right wherever you are. Let's look at the rest of these walls, though. Is there anything else I can upgrade? Nope. The only thing that wasn't level three is Slaver's Point. Of course, that's where he went. Of course, that's where he went. Because it wasn't level three, obviously. So. Shagrath, speaking of level three, you're getting upgrade. Good. Kind of worried about putting more money in here because you may actually get destroyed, but money for money makes a good sense, or lots of sense. Let's go through now and upgrade all the money things I've been putting off for ages of empires throughout the lands. Uh, so that looks fine. Oh, you know what? No, I don't think I should upgrade this port and shagger. It's a lot of money. Yeah, let's do it, actually. By the time we get up there, we'll be fine. Let's keep going. More money stuff, great. More money stuff, great. Uh, walls for 3,000 makes a lot of sense. Go for it. Mm, no money stuff here. Uh, here's some money stuff. More money stuff. Oh, out of money. Out of money for the money stuff. Well, that's that turn. The good thing about not having Osnog is we get a lot of income per turn. How, long, how much is Olinox costing us? 7,500. Okay. Hero not moved. Redwood. I'm just going to kind of scout through here and see what's going on. Pretty much nothing. And that's it. All right, let's end the turn. And see what happens. I did talk about doing a right for the sacrifice here, but do I want it right now? Not so much. It makes a lot of sense to go through this right, like, next turn. Well, we're going to do that next turn for sure. Lots of post-battle loot. All right, let's see what Teetering gets himself up to here. Probably attacking Slaver's Point. Actually, he's got to land first, right? Nope, he doesn't. Ooh, <laughs> he just went right on in there. Okay. Well then. Is this even worth playing? I mean, he has got white lions of trace. Great axe infantry, many of them. Many eagles, many bolt throwers. Or one bolt thrower. I don't think so, no, let's just uh, automate. I thought, it would, I thought it would be better chances than that, to be honest. <laughs> Decisive defeat. All, uh, however, FaZa, who I've yet to rename, got 126 kills. Everyone else got zero. Well, and he actually occupied it. Interesting. Not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, here comes that whole army. Out to Kalidora's repose. Okay. Looks like some fun times for Malekith ahead. Got Tyrion's in my lands ransacking, and I'm in his lands ransacking. <laughs> like, what? The scrolls revealed the second sacrifice. A hated foe. A prince of Althwan who had confounded the sorceress once before. The assassin took his blood, and she reveled in death. The chalice begins to fill. But more of Hecate's scrolls are needed to find the next sacrifice. All right. Wow, as I finish that ritual, Lawthorn starts the next ritual. Okay, but they're starting it right here, and that's actually within striking distance, and Tyrion's off on a fool's errand attacking my territory. You know what? Fine. Let him do it. That's going to be the only territory he can easily take. Uh, I'll build up something there to deal with him soon. Yep, Faza was dead. Slaver's Point was lost. The scheme of doom is performed. Powerful earthquakes and enemy settlements. Interesting. Denizen is ready for duty once again. Where is he? Oh, perfect. Right over here. A ritual of hated foe completed. Fantastic. And that's done. Now, let's grab Denizen. Let's get in here and see what we can do against some of these guys. Wow. Hold the phone, guys. This is no joke. He's got, he's got four lords. 
High Mage, Lord Master of Hoth, another Lord Master, a Prince. He's got uh, decent units here all around. He's got another army with two more Lords, another Lord Master of Hoth, and another Prince. And then meanwhile, the Garrison is size 7. That is a lot of stuff, but one of them just marched in here. And in addition to that, I can potentially, potentially use Denizen to help us out here. What do we got? Ooh. Assault Units, Gil Galleon. 42%. That's not very good. Assassinate, 31. I don't think I want to go for Assassinates. What about out here? Assault Units, that's 48. Well, I think the only smart move is Assault Ridiculous. the massive amounts of units. It makes the most sense. Or can I assault the town? Garrison, $500, 50%. But they only have seven units. I think we're better off assaulting the, the army here. Come on, Denizen. This could really be a huge colossal help for us. Assault... Gilgalian's units, 42%. Go for it, slice it and die. Failure, of course. Uh, bloody hell, those guys are so hard to, like, learn up. The storm has settled here, which is very nice. We're healing back up now. Uh, I could go into normal mode, come down here and grab whatever this is. Stance, none. Would I be able to sail back enough to hit up Malekith with the aura? Mm, I think so. You know what? We could kind of micro it a little bit. Let's move, like, down here. Okay, looks good. Let's move down there. Okay, that's barely getting the buff. If I came down here, I think I could barely... I might not be able to fault to, to come back and hit up Malekith here with the with the aura. So I'm probably going to have to do that after the Malekith battle. Only reason I wanted to do it now is so I could end the episode with having done that. Uh, rather than having to try to remember next episode and forget. But that's the plan. Come out here. Come back. Uh, recruit up a million and a half dragons, I think, unless I forget. I Meanwhile, Malik, if it's going to normal mode here... Uh... Before I even begin to do this... Let me sail out here and take a look at Tyrion and all my surrounding territories. Is there anything I can do to help them out? Well, Karand Kar can actually get upgraded. We probably should do that, but that's a lot of money. Regardless, I don't care. Let's do it. And then I could upgrade the walls there as well. Uh, in addition, I can pull my death hags back and we can regroup with a new hero. Who's that going to be? Elamir Cunning enables poison attacks, ambush attack. Oh, ambush on Tyrion would really do him in. Yes, let's do that. Elamir, let's, let's rename you before I forget. Uh, the next person is Amash. Welcome to the team, friends. Uh, and let's come My back here servant. and group up with the Death Hags. Awesome. Focus. Grab another one. Or alternatively, they could hinder replenishments. Could they hinder enough to make this worthwhile? 19% chance. Mm, I don't think so. In fact, he's already pretty much completely healed up anyway. So we've got some sort of like tiny little Moving army here. We do have 13 units. Fury of the ancestors. Can I recruit any more heroes? I cannot. We're completely maxed out on everything. Dreadlord, at your command. Can we recruit any units? Well, I could get witch elves, but they won't be done for two turns, so probably not. Nope. That's as good as we can do there for defending up on that front. Meanwhile, Olinox. Yeah, we are just cruising Moving. up here to go fill in for Osnog. Speaking of Osnog. Is Osnog capable of being recruited, or is Osnog dead? I think Osnog's actually completely dead. Poor Osnog! I thought you'd return to the pool, but only Legendary Lore has returned to the pool. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I've lost a Legendary Lord. Whoopsie-daisy. Oh, Osnog, my overconfidence. What a... I've done so badly this episode. Uh, it's 100% my fault. I could have played much better. Uh, however, the next episode... The next episode. Let's come down here with Redwood. I just want to do everything I can think of before we finish up here. Yep. Lord not moved. Malekith, I'm aware of that. And that's it. Pretty much. I can blow some money on some stuff, so I don't have to do it later. Uh, what would I even blow the money on? It kind of matters, actually, how this battle results, because I... Oh, that's right. I'm going to blow it on the dragons. In fact, I already spent too much. King well, King Malekith, let's do a bit of the old rites. We are indeed going to go for the sacrifice to Cain. We get 15 turns of additional casualties, more replenishment, more income from slaves. Uh, we get the dark conduit, which is super balance, and also income from post-battle loot. Bam. It's on now, friends. 
It is on. Like, Lord the pentagon or whatever the hell that means. Um, we're very close. We only have, like, five more turns till we can start this ritual. We're not that far behind. And, in fact, there is some chance for me to come over here and interrupt his ritual myself. And, in fact, I could probably even pay $10,000 to get an army to help me out, which makes some sense. Uh, but, when's we returning? Malekith versus Kalidor's Repose with two armies and a garrison. This is like a 45-55 in their favor. They've got six lords. Six. Seven if you count the garrison. They've got one, two, three archers. Four, five, six, counting the sea guard. Uh, six archers. We've got six. They've got one, two, three cav. Are these the good cav? No, they're the bad cav. Like the dark riders. They've also got some missile cav. That's not too bad. Do they have any bolt throwers? They've got one. Do they have any birds, though? That's the important thing. No, they do have two chariots. I'm gonna have to intercept those chariots maybe with my hydras uh, to, to lock them down from just storming straight through my front line. The cav, we can probably... I don't know what the hell we'll do with them. They can just let them run into the dark dread spears. They'll probably actually die. The 18 leaders, Malika can just go bite them to death, I think. Maybe the hydras can get in there and step on them. I don't know. This looks like it'll be a really fun battle. It's gonna come down to micro. Can I micro two war hydras, breath tongues or whatever? Uh, Torden's Blade, whatever it is. Or wait, no, she's a Death Hag, actually. I don't micro her, but I think I did give her one ability for some kind of something. Tremaine's got an ability that does something, plus fireballs. Uh, based on the ability, I don't know what any, the Based on the fact that I don't know what anything, any of these abilities are called, my chances of microing them seem slim. But don't also forget that I got all, I got the Dark Conduits, and I've got Bombardments up the wazoo. Yes, I can clearly micro five things, that thing, this thing, the spells, Malekith, Breath, Attacks, Water Hydras, Missiles, no problem! Uh, who am I gonna give this Banner of Eternal Flame to? Let's just give it to one of these guys, it looks good. Alright, when's we returning? I try my absolute desperate, desperate attempt at microing four million spells. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. We've got the murderous prowess, friends. We've got the murderous prowess. There is some chance. Take down this phoenix. There goes the phoenix. Okay, all archers, all shades. Focus up on the other phoenix. Focus up on the other... F oh, no! Osnog is scared! Oh, so close.